Gashi, you've experienced some big times in football. How, how does this rate? Oh, it, it's right up there. It's, um, it's a bit, obviously a, a strange ending to the season, um, but I think no one can argue with the way it was dealt with or what's going on in the world, what's going on in the country. Um, and for the level we're at, I think the points we're getting was uh, the best way to finish it. And thankfully, we, uh, we finished top. And I think uh, it's well deserved. But like you say, it's right up there for me. I've had a couple, a couple other promotions, but this is um, once again, right up there. again with last year, to do it back to back, to go into a league that's got four or five full time clubs in it. It's a um, fantastic achievement, and everybody at the football club. Uh, everybody involved with it should be so proud of what we've achieved and look forward to next season. I mean, there were a lot of concerned people weren't there, at the start of the season as to how the team would adapt to international work and we get on with it, but you know, apart from that first game, then you moved on quickly. Yeah, exactly. It was um, maybe a little bit of an eye opener. I'd say in that first half against Geisley, we had a few opportunities to, to take the lead, and unfortunately, we didn't. And then just killer blows really they they took their chances and maybe that just showed us what it's going to be like at this level but I've said before we, we listened to the gaffer the gaffer had belief in us we believed in ourselves we listened to him what he wants us to do how he wants us to play and he believes in the way he coaches us and the way he wants us to play and I think it's shown everybody especially here at the walks that, that when we're on form you know we're, we're definitely the best team in the league I mean, you and the other experienced guys were so crucial throughout the campaign to, to nurture the, the younger ones who hadn't tasted that level. No, yeah, and it's um, it's it's really works. And you always look at yourself as never too old, but you know I, I'm definitely getting there. And me and Jarvan, uh, two of the most experienced in, in the squad, so it's um, it's something that you, you've got to help and, and maybe guide the younger players. But you look at the younger players in this squad and how they approach training, how they approach matches, how they look after themselves. It's very, very professional and um, I can only see the, the young lads and, and the other players in this team only going one way and that's up. And, um, they, deserve, uh, they deserve all the accolades they get but like I say, they just got to keep working hard, keep listening to the gaffer, keep learning, wanting to improve and, uh, and they will do season on season and then the level that we're going to is a great platform for anybody and you've seen what can happen to players on that level and hopefully some some of the team can can go and do it maybe not halfway through the season but yeah hopefully they will do and we saw what the season took its toll on, on you throughout the campaign you know but i mean are you, are you looking forward to another yeah definitely you know i've um i had like a, a little knee niggle which um, we couldn't quite get rid of, but it was um, it, it did ease up, and the gaffer looked after me with training and everything, and it was one of them just just try and get through it, and thankfully I did, and it did ease down a lot. So hopefully this this rest has has done it well, and I'm, I'm looking forward now to to getting back out there and getting fit again. I've, I've had my rest, started to do a little bit, but I um, want to get into the full swing of things and get as fit as possible for the start of the season. We said at the start of last year that there were some big clubs to look forward to, but some massive clubs. Yes, yeah, you know, I think everybody's looking forward to that that day when the fixtures come out. It will be fantastic for, again, I say everybody involved in the club looking for certain fixtures. We don't know who's going to go up yet, but um, there are some big, big clubs in in this league, and we look forward to playing all of them. But you know, they're they're going to have to come here, and this can be a daunting place, especially with our record here. I know we didn't have the um, the best finish here at the walks but um, you look at that run we had that unbeaten run um, it just lasted over nearly two seasons um, everybody will know about it and they'll know coming here is going to be a tough place to come. We've obviously wanted two new faces already and he's already said that he's looking for another couple as well just to shrink from him. They've got to be the right that type of player but everyone he's brought in has been accepted haven't they and they've, um, they've tailored in really well. Yeah and that's that's credit to the to the gap. I don't think he'll he'll just go and look for someone who's who can improve us just on the pitch. It's, it's all about that um, that togetherness, that team spirit, that camaraderie inside the dressing room. And I'm sure the gaffer will look at um, obviously the quality. You've got to have the quality on the pitch to come to come and play here. Um, and he knows who he has, who he has in mind for that. But also the you know the personality, how they're going to adapt to coming into our changing room and. 
everyone who comes in loves it in there. It's a great, great changing room. Everybody's welcoming and it's, uh, it's a great place to be and I, I absolutely love it in there. It's, everyone says it's one of the main things you miss when you, when you do finish football and I know that I will miss a changing room and especially this one because it's one of the best I've ever been in. You got the winners medal. That feel? It's it's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I look, just look at it and just to go with last year, it's, it doesn't get much better than this. And just to have it around there, go home. I don't know if I'm sleeping. It's quite heavy, but um, yeah, it's a fantastic feeling. And it was a little bit delayed of, of celebrating, but to get your hands on a trophy and, and get a winners medal is uh, it's absolutely brilliant. congratulations. Thank you very much. Last season. Probably would stand out moment, the winning goal at Warrington, you went and celebrated with your family. Is that probably the biggest regret that you haven't been able to celebrate with your family or supporters? Yeah, it's you know, it's, everybody knows what, what's going on and it's, it's disappointing. Obviously, I think a lot of the country would have watched Liverpool last night and it's um, just that it, it takes it away a little bit that you can't celebrate and you know, when the whistle might have gone on, on the game that, that we've won it, um, that jubilation the crowd everybody you know family in the stand my kids there and it, it would have been fantastic but unfortunately it, um, it didn't happen like that but you still can't take away that we're champions and that, that feeling of being a champion and like I say it's not exactly the same today but the, the family have come down and we've had pictures and everything so it's still a great feeling and we're going to be playing in the, in the National League next year so no one can take anything away whether there is fans there or not but Hopefully the fans will, will be able to get to the walks as soon as possible and maybe we can uh, we can celebrate with them. And this squad keeps proving everybody wrong. How how much more can they achieve, do you think? Well, you know, it's it, it's totally up to us. It's, it's whether the, the players in that change room, which I believe have the right attitude, have the right professionalism, want to go on and prove themselves at, at this level and prove themselves at, at a higher level, whether that be with Kings Lynn or not. Um, but once again, we'll... Uh, We'll have one of the best managers around um, who supported well with, with, with Baza. Um, so we'll just look forward to it. And we know that if we listen to him, we take everything that he does with us in training out onto the field on a Saturday or Tuesday, then um, we'll be able to hold our own. You've worked with some good managers. Is he is he the best in Culverhouse or very he's, close to it? He's, <laughs> I, do you know what? I have worked with some good ones, but he's definitely right. He probably is one of the best. Yeah, he's a he's, for me, coming to the end, um, he, he's looked after me uh, age-wise, body-wise, um, the, the, the way he brings you in and, and talks to you and talks about different things and, and then just, uh, yeah, just manage me kind of thing, does it really well and he's tactically brilliant, knows everything, he does stuff while he sat here out there and the opposing bench don't know what to do because we've changed that up. We know what he wants us to do, we'll do it. And then the opposing team don't know what's happening and the gap has seen it like that. He adjusts stuff and, and the other people don't see it and he does it. And then that helps us on, on the pitch. And also as a man management, he's, uh, he's fantastic, he's right up there. He just knows what players need individually as a collective and um, he deserves all, all the accolades he gets because we're, we've been successful in the last two seasons. Even the season before where we didn't go up, it was still a good season for us. Um, it, it's all you know, mainly down to him, so yeah, he deserves it. I can ask you some big ugly centre-halves last season. They're going to be bigger and uglier this season. But you just do seem to like the bigger and uglier ones. Yeah, like I, that, fine. <laughs> yeah I, I don't mind it. It's, um, it's something I've kind of done all my career so I'll, again I'll look forward to it um, I feel like I can mix my play up but if, if I need to um, be a bit of a battering ram and, and take a, a bit of a hit for the team especially from a strike partner I, I don't really care because if, if I take care of a defender or two defenders that want to wrestle me for some reason and Maz gets the ball we know 90% of the time that ball will be going in the back of the net so that will do me, I, like I say, I look forward to it, I, I like the fight, I enjoy it, never back down, so um, yeah, I look forward to it. It'd be rude to say that you, that's all you were as a target, mate, because the, you, the, the phrase we shouldn't use is got good feet for a big man. You know, I mean, it, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. an exclusive thing for little people, but you know, you prove you, you play football. Right? Yeah, and that's what I like, I like to bring players into play, hold the ball up, 
Um, but I know that I'm there and we can feed off me a little bit and like I say, hopefully uh, feed my plant, even if it's me you know, bringing in a midfield player who's then putting in Maz. But yeah, like you say, I, I try and do whatever I can to help the team and if some days it's this or some days it's that, I, I'll do whatever the gather asks of me and hopefully I'll do it well. And you get to all the gold. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks ever so much. No problem. Cheers. Cheers.